Hello everyone. Well, what we have here is a Yale Terror padlock. Um, it came with no key and I tried and tried to pick it and it wouldn't work. And the reason is, uh, this is the insides. So the way the stack goes like this, it's just like this. These levers are over here on the left side. Sorry. I don't know if you can see that. And when the levers line up, whenever I'm trying to figure out a mechanism, I'm just looking at, what is it trying to do here? You know, I, I'd seen, I'd shine my light through here, and I had seen that there was nothing up here. There was only the shackle over here. Usually there's some kind of lever or something, you know, that holds it. The way this thing works is once you line up these levers, it allows this piece to come back. And when that piece comes back, it clears off a cutout that's matching on the other side of this. And that would allow the shackle to come up. But uh, this thing is, uh, like I said, broken or frozen. And it won't come up even without the latching mechanism on it. So I'll have to clean it up. There. Hmm. Probably hadn't done that in like 100 years. Uh, it still won't clear. Barely. Mm. Um. Yeah, I only st I stuck this thing in a vinegar bath for 24 hours. And it really helped get the surface gunk off of it. But anytime you've got a, a padlock that looks like, you know, an, an antique padlock that it looks like it's been through hell, the internals have probably been through hell. And uh, even though I lubed it up afterwards and everything else, um, it's still not, it still wouldn't work, basically, because of uh, somebody had twisted it up or anything. Anyways, I was trying to preserve uh, the appearance on the front, but my Dremel got a little bit carried away. This is the little um, rotation limiter or key thing or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, they're, they're pretty cool. Pretty cool little mechanisms. Um, again, the way they use this lever mecha mechanism and how they fit it in there is just... Uh, amazing that they can cram all of this into one little spot and get it all to work but anyways I also picked up this one it was advertised as a Yale lock and it's not I uh, I took some sandpaper to the key and it says Miller Miller key company um, this guy right here he's pretty easy to get into uh, you can use you can use an American bypass tool and get back there and hit it and you can also just take a regular pick and go over here this thing is wide enough that I was using the back side of the pick before to lever it. There, it's open. So yeah, they're pretty easy to get into. And this is just like sheet steel. It's pretty. It's um not even as thick as a Zippo lighter cover. This right here is uh, brass, uh, folded brass. A little bit sturdier, but still. Anyway, there you go. A little double feature. A little rugby. Um. These guys, I can't get into yet. They're the same kind of lever mechanism that has to be moved backwards. I've spent hours and hours messing with it and getting nowhere. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the, um, the terror. Ah, the terror. Thank you for watching, and happy picking, everyone.